Hello all, welcome to Zancy's Tutorials. In this video, we are going to conduct the stress analysis on a shaft that is carrying gear and a pulley. So this is the problem description. The shaft carries a gear and a pulley and is supported by bearings at its ends. A torque of 25 Newton meter is applied to the pulley and transferred to the gear. So to determine the maximum stress, deformation and the factor of safety. Open ANSYS workbench, choose static structural, we are not going to change the material. So right click on geometry, go to import geometry, choose browse. So the download link for the geometry is given in the description. Select shaft with gear and pulley. Next right click on the model, choose edit. Right click on the mesh and choose generate mesh. Now the entire structure is discretized into small elements. Right click on static structural, choose insert and choose remote displacement. So click control and select the two end faces of the shaft, click apply and in the displacement I am going to arrest the X component the Y component the Z component and in the rotation except the Y component I am going to arrest both the X and Y Next right click on the static structural, go to insert, choose fixed support and fix the face of a tooth, click apply. Next go to moment, select the pulley face, click apply. So, so moment we can apply in two methods, I am selecting component and in the X component. I am applying 25 Newton meter. Okay, so you can see the direction. Next, right click on the solution and insert on my stress, then total deformation. Similarly, in stress tool, you can find maximum equivalent stress. You can also click that. So that will give you the safety factor. Right click on the solution, click solve. Now the solution is completed. You can visualize the result. Click the equivalent stress. So you can use the probe to see the maximum stress. So the maximum stress is around 1.9 e power 8 Pascal. You can simulate this. If you want to save this, go to images, choose image to file and type shaft stress. Similarly, you can visualize the total deformation. So the maximum deformation is at the pulley side. Similarly, you can visualize the safety factor. So the minimum factor of safety is 1.3. So if the factor of safety is greater than 1, then the system is safe. So the dimensions of the given system is completely safe. You can also save the results. Thank you.